Hi guys, welcome to the Drum Brother. Today we're here uh, with uh, the great drummer Thomas Lang. Hello. Uh, first of all, thank you for participating to sure, the Drum Brother. Sure, you're welcome. My pleasure. And the first question I wanted to ask you is about your drumsticks. Yes. Uh, I know you designed them with uh, Vic Fear. And um, as we can see, they're pretty big. Yes. And um, did you get inspired from the marching band's uh, drumstick? Uh, why did you choose to, to have them like, like this? Yeah, well, um, I needed a stick that was specifically tailored to my needs musically, of course, and also to you know the size of my hand and the fact that I played mostly traditional grip. So it's inspired by a marching stick for sure and it's very thick the diameter is very thick it's heavy it has a short taper which means it's very robust it doesn't break easily uh, it has an acorn shaped tip which is a very dynamic tip which means that it is you know has a lot of attack on metal surfaces like cymbals because it has a ball characteristic but when you play on drums, the drum head obviously gives when you hit it, which means it covers more surface, which means it's a more dynamic, louder sound if you, uh, if you cover more uh, surface on the head. So I had very specific needs in mind, and I wanted a stick that's really reliable, that is loud and powerful, that doesn't break, and that is versatile. And, and I play mostly pretty powerful music, so um, to me it was very important that I don't chew through the stick too easily on cymbals and so off so you know you when you play you heavy on hi-hats and stuff you chew through the um, taper here so that's why it's very thick it still has a very good balance it's it's like a like a giant uh, 2b or something like a you know yeah, yeah, yeah. 2b on acid you know so you so, think it's um, a really uh, personal thing absolutely stick. yes of you, course it has to be i think every hand is different, every musician is different, you know, every musical need uh, is different and everybody has different tastes and sound, so I needed this. Um, in fact, um, the f I recently decided to play more match grip, so about a year ago or so, I decided to, to switch to match grip playing because it's a lot less maintenance. I've been playing traditional grip for, you know, 40 years, so I wanted to change in my playing, I wanted to challenge and I wanted to, you know, create a bit of a, you know, uh, challenge for myself and, and um, I changed a lot of things in my playing, including the grip, and for match grip I'll need a different stick, because this was specifically designed for traditional, traditional grip playing, and, um, and now when I, I, I use this stick to play match grip, it feels not ideal for me, so in uh, at the end of November, uh, a new stick is going to get released by Vic Firth. It's a new signature stick, which is slightly different. Uh, it's a little bit longer. It has a slightly different taper, same tip, uh, and a new color, which is very cool. And I yeah. can't tell you, uh, but you have to look out for it. Uh, and uh, so that's going to be very exciting for me, you know, to change also my stick now. Cool. So of course, I think it has to be very specific for your personal needs and. Uh, and everybody's different, you know. Some people like blue sticks. No, I, you know, I like white. You know, not only the shape and the size and the weight, um, but also I like the fact that it's white translates, you know, movement better. If you're on stage and you're playing, you know, and you've got the spotlight on it, it just looks great because white is more reflective than wood color or black or blue. So I and of course a lot of uh, marching sticks are white, so you can see the movement. Uh, and also Buddy Rich had white sticks, yeah. which I'm a big fan of Buddy Rich, so it's a bit of an homage to uh, Buddy Rich and the marching tradition, you know. 